it is the talk of the day. So the South African Reserve Bank have increased the repo rate by 75 basis point, which means that the prime lending rate as well will move from 9% to 9.75%. So how does this actually affect you? Let's get to it, shall we? But before that, you know, as uh, as you follow this channel, we talk all things real estate, all things personal finance, so that you are the driver of your financial life and not just the passenger. Right? As we have seen, the, there's a lot of costs that are rising. Like, we talk about fuel prices, we talk about food prices, and what that means it just means that inflation is going up right it just means inflation is going up in actual fact the inflation uh um on july it was around 7.8 percent and august it ended at six 7.6 percent these are very very high numbers and then um uh but I want, before I go into too much detail, to break down what is the role of the uh, South African Reserve Bank or the MPC, the Monetary Policy uh, Committee, which is made up of five people, which actually decide uh, whether to drop the interest rate, whether to up the interest rate, and what actually is their mandate. So the mandate of the MPC is to ensure that the inflation is less than 6%. So as I just said now, the inflation, uh, even if you, you can just see on the graph that I'm, I'm showing on the screen, you can see that inflation has been really going so much high. Like we ended at um, uh, August on 7.6% and July on at 7.8 which is way way above what you normally have uh, of 6% as the the threshold that you should have for inflation right so what does this actually mean for home buyers right or for home sellers if they are increasing the 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 interest rate by 75 basic points or 0.75 percent for the interest rate itself what does it mean uh, but before i get to that if you remember if you follow my channel i've actually made a prediction earlier this year the beginning of the year that there's going to be a minimum of four increase of the interest rate and we have seen that it has been increased from march uh uh uh, Ju July and now uh, at September it's increased and there's going to be another meeting that's going to be set on November so we shall wait and see what happens with that right so how does this actually affect you as a home buyer as a home seller but before you get that you need to understand that the mandate of the MPC or the South African Reserve Bank is to make sure that inflation is uh, lower than 6%. So this is their mandate. And if you can see uh, that uh, what I just given as the recent uh, inflation values where we ended the month, you could see that it's way above the target. So now their objective was to say, okay, the inflation is becoming too high. Even if we saw that uh, on August side, it actually become much lower, but you are not sure if that's a temporary or it's going to go in that trend uh, maybe until the next term in November. So there's not really a way to tell. You can only tell uh, after you have passed that, that, that time. And maybe it might be, in their in their mind or in their perception it might be they are thinking maybe it's too late uh to wait for that time uh to keep the interest rate 
uh, as it is. That's why maybe they've increased it. And to show that they so much intended to, to increase it, you see that there were some members that were voting for 100 uh, uh, basic points. So, so they wanted to just kill us, kill us more, eh? kill us more with these increases of uh, petrol, home prices, and all these things that is actually piling up on us. And I understand it's very frustrating for everyone because the economy right now is not favorable. Right, so I was still talking about the mandate of the MPC or the South African Reserve Bank, which is to control inflation. So, that is the reasoning behind the increase. It is for them to try to, to, to bring down the demand. Okay, so how it works with, with debt and anything else, it's a matter of supply and demand. Right? So, remember, what are the things that actually causes inflation? Inflation is caused by, let's say, if there's too much demand of something, the prices goes up. Ne? So, when they go up, that is actually uh, causing inflation in a way. Right? And also, another thing is that, when there's too much demand, for example, in the housing market, it means so many people will be borrowing money, right? And if they are borrowing money, too much demand of anything reduces uh, uh, um, the buying power of that because the price increases, right? Remember, uh, when they print money, it's too much supply of the money which comes into as uh, uh, as debt which increases uh, the the inflation and this is uh, the consequences of what we have seen uh, maybe from the past year because so many people now started borrowing because the interest rates were very low right and this is why now we see this high inflation in addition to that you have now this uh, oil crisis that is caused by the Ukraine and Russian war. So all these things are piling up and causing uh, these issues. So I hope you understand why did they actually decide to uh, increase uh, the, the interest rate or the repo rate, which for sure doesn't work for you. But the idea for them is to just reduce the demand uh, so that... Uh, the economy can slow down a bit not that it helps the, the economy in any way it doesn't really help the economy because the economy has not been growing uh because of also this uh, uh inflation right but to furthermore reduce uh, reduce the activity in the economy they increased uh, uh, um, uh the interest rate which will drive down now the demand right and then maybe once uh, the the economy has stabilized maybe they will reconsider we never know right but the hinging point that i want to come at is uh, how does this actually affect you obviously when the interest rate is or the repo rate is increased the repo rate is actually the 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 interest rate in a way that uh, the reserve bank uh, borrows money to the 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 financial banks that we know and then we have from there the prime lending rate which is the interest rate that banks that we know standard bank absa fnb uh, sa home loans and uh, net bank they now borrow money to us as consumers i hope that is clear uh uh, I've made so much videos about that. You can just go and check uh, videos I've made about this. So I don't want to make this video very long. Uh, <clears throat> so now, if there's an increase of the repurchase rate and the interest rate, it basically means the cost of borrowing money for us will be much expensive. So it means if you already an owner of a house, 
and you are at a variable um, uh, interest rate. It means the same amount of 75 basis points that will increase on the prime lending rate will be effective to you also. It means you will see your monthly installment will get higher, right? But there's some people that actually are aware of this and they fix their interest rate. So this change in the repurchase rate and in the prime lending rate will not make a difference for them. So if you see that you are on a fixed, uh, on a uh, flexible interest rate and you see this is actually going to affect you. So uh, uh, in a badly way, in a way that you will not be able to afford anymore. So I say uh, you can actually now to, to, uh, to fix your interest rate. That will actually assist you, right? But if you are a new buyer that have not bought yet and you still want to buy, so what you can do is just to uh, make sure that when you actually buy a property, remember you have some sort of affordability, right? So when you have some sort of affordability, you don't go exactly to what you can afford, right? You must go actually much lower than you afford, right? You can go maybe 30% less, 40% less of an installment that you can afford. So that in cases you, you, they say you take the, uh, the flexible interest rate, you are able to adapt to it and it should not be straining you right so this is the things that you can work around to make sure that you actually cover yourself financially you must actually look at how your budget looks and actually that you cover yourself right because like i always say we want you to be in a financial position that doesn't strain you but that you live a comfortable life with your family and friends, right? So yeah, those are the, the basics that I just wanted to cover so that you should not be uh, strained. But if you feel maybe this uh, interest rate hike is becoming too much for you and is straining you, you either fix your interest rate uh, if you already have a... Uh, a, 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 a bond already, and you are on a flexible so you can just fix it so that it doesn't affect you but if it's becoming too much maybe you should just reconsider and downgrade a bit and buy a house that is affordable and uh, uh, fix the interest rate but what you must take note is you cannot really fix it to the entire term of the of the of the of the home loan you just need to fix it for a certain period the banks will actually specify for how long you can actually fix that interest rate so if this video adds value in your financial situation don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet but if you have subscribed just like the video just share the video with your friends and family actually if you have not subscribed just hit that subscribe button right now let me wait for you. Hit it, eh? Punch it. <laughs> yes. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.